Okay, hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of uh, this let's play, this blind let's play of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Here we have our protagonist, Davidoff Harfork. <laughs> <laughs> so last time we were told that we had to get some kit. Garion's not very happy with us, or he's a bit distant from us, and he just said, go and get some kit, and sent us off with a shitload of gold, so... I'll say shitload, it was It's a shitload to us. We're a young lad, we've not seen much gold. We started with a hundred, we've, we've kind of spent a lot on fancy weapons like a morning star, and a bastard sword, which cost... that cost almost half of our gold, so, um... Anyway, we also have a quest from Firebead Elvenhair. Um, uh, we have to try and find an identify scroll in the inner grounds, wherever that is. So let's take a look at our map. So here we are. I guess these are the these must be the inner grounds. Um, entrance looks like it's here. So why don't we just work our way around and see what happens. I'm sure there'll be some people that want to talk to us. I mean, we're Davidoff Horfolk. We're Garion's foster son. People people should want to talk to us. Although, maybe not some of our peers who we've been bashing around with our swords and shields made of sticks and twigs, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, no, I don't want to be there. Ah! It's done it by the map. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here we are. I'm on it. Hello. Okay, what's around here? Not very much, it would seem. Um. Hello? Who's that? Go and talk to him. I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. I was in one of the great spires of the keep last night and saw the strangest sight. The horizon was aglow for a time, as though many a man carried torches in the distance. Usually there are only merchants on that path, though never at night. Bandits, perhaps? But so many? Um. Oh. Well, I I don't know. Let's hope not. Tell you. Um. Oh. Right. What's this then? Oh. <coughs> Sorry, young one. You're not allowed to be in here. Now go along and do something useful. Hmm. I I want to have a look. I'm allowed wherever I want. I'm Garion's foster son. How many times do I have to say it? Can't get in any of these chests. Ah! What's this then? Mm. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look. What's What was that? Antidote cures poison, as the name implies. Okay, the cleansing is instant, may only be used once. Okie doke. And what else do we pick up? Hull's longsword. These swords are usually referred to as double edged swords, war swords, or military swords. In many cases, the longsword has a single edged blade. There is no single version of the longsword. The design and length vary from culture to culture. Among the most common characteristics of all is their length, which ranges from 35 inches to 47 inches. Way. Um, in the latter case, the blade is known to take up 40 inches of the total length. Or I love, want to see my blade? It's 40 inches long. Um. Okay. Well, might as well take it, I suppose. Why not? Um, that's what we feel like doing, that's what we'll do. Um, 
because I don't think we should be using it in you that ride. our proficiency where can we find our proficiencies hmm where would it where would it tell us here we go um, weapon proficiency so we've got bastard sword and two-handed sword but not necessarily a long sword I don't think is it a two two-handed sword what happens if we equip it so we can equip it with only one okay so we can equip it with only one hand um, so we'll not bother with that Oh, I should say as well, I did um, look up Thaco, <coughs> and I was right in, well, I was almost right. So Thaco um, is our to hit value, effectively, I think. So uh, it's our Thaco score minus their armor class if we're trying to hit them. Um, and then you roll a 20-sided die, and if you are over that number, the attack lands if you hit them. So obviously you want to get your Thaco as low as possible um, so you basically th that will mean the numbers lower that you have to roll above with the 20 sided die and you also want your armor class as low as possible because it means that your opponent will have to roll a higher number. I hope that all makes sense. <laughs> uh, mind you most people watching this I, I, I would imagine already know um, oh, what a meadfield knight. That hull is just too much. Okay, so the guy we've got the sword for. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you anyway? Um, oh, I think nothing really. I was just nosing about. Yeah, well, don't think this headache means I'm not keeping my eye on you. That's not very nice. I should have joined the army. Um, if you, uh, Evans, if I need a couple, I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. You could get some off Winthrop at the inn, I'll reimburse you. There'll be a few coins in it for you too, so you can stop giving me that look. Um, Sorted. Shall we go back? Shall we get him some crossbow bolts? Um, I think we will. We've not really got much else to do, I suppose. I mean, Gorion's told us to get some kit, but to be honest, he can wait. He's been distant and weird with us. I'm not really in any great compulsion to, you know, run to his whim, so he can wait for us, I think. We'll do what we like. Bit of gold in it for us, hopefully. I'm on it. My old girl's as clean as an elven arse. Hello, sir. Do you have any quarrels? Please. Crossbow bolts. That must be the one I I think. One gold, okie doke. Thank you. Bye bye. Dee 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 dee. Okay, um, I'm on it. Back into wherever it is. I assume the barracks, if Hollers had to go and man the gate. And that's where his stuff was. Come on, David, off, get a job on. There we go. Sorted. I should have joined the army. How rude! Here you are, you little money grubber. Put a few gold pieces in your pair, I bloody will. I feel like giving him a bit of a spank, to be honest. How can you I should have joined the army. Can you attack people? I should have joined the army. I should have joined the army. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I'd quite like to give him a bit of a clout. He was pretty rude, wasn't he? Sorted. Sorted. Yes, thank you. Hello, child. 
Hello. Shall we continue your lesson? Clerics and paladins have the ability to turn undead. Activating this icon will cause many undead creatures to flee or even be destroyed. When in this mode, the character can move wherever they wish. Any other action, such as attacking or casting a spell, will deactivate the ability. Okay. Cool. Right, which one of these? Ah, quick save. Awesome. I wonder if does Q do that as well? It does indeed. Nice one. Okay, what's over here? What's this? Bunk house. Nothing in there. What about in here? More gold? Super. People just leave gold lying around. It's brilliant. Uh, go in. I have a blade with your name on it. You what? You've got a blade with my name on it? I don't think so. Here, there. You're Garion's little whelp, aren't you? Yeah, you match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. Um, I'm his child, if that's what you mean. Foster child, got to keep it straight. Cheeky bastard. He raised you as his own, but you're not of his blood. Your head ain't worth nothing if you're actually his child. Nah, I know you're the right one. Might take it out of the gutter as soon as I snuff your lights. Cool, he's a bit of a swine, isn't he? Right, here we go, Davidoff. Here we go. I don't think we can do anything but attack. Something on your mind? Attack. Attack. Go on, Davidoff. Go on, Davidoff. Go on, Davidoff. Oh, I was trying to get round the side. Oh dear, Davidoff's dead. Davidoff's dead. Go on, Davidoff. Yes, Davidoff. Oh no. And we've faded into dust. Uh, right. Where was our quick save? Thank you. Oh, he's not very nice, is he? I'm on it. What a swine. We'll get our 15 gold again. Thank you. Right, what could we try this time? What could we try this time? Um, what about if we use our Morning Star? A blade with your name on it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, same again, same again. Okay, kill, kill, Something kill, kill. Go on, David, off. Come on, mate. Go on, fella. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Go on, David, off. Hmm, could be here a while. At least. Oh dear, he's done one. Go on, David, off. Anytime you like. Anytime. Oh, yes! Oh, wow! St one hit. One hit. Yeah, that'll teach you. That'll teach you. Um, we can sell it, I suppose. We can sell it. Well, what, what, was, what was his problem? What was his problem? Wasn't very nice of him, was it? Nothing else in in here, I don't think. Oh, and I should say a big shout out to uh, the mighty Stevie T. This this episode's for you, Hello mate. This episode's for you. Um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, bards can inspire their comrades in combat by use of the bard song. They are able to move when singing, but any other action will end the song. While they may be rogues, bards primarily concern themselves with people. Because of this, they can pick pockets but lack other thieving skills. Okie doke. Bear that in mind if we ever meet a bard, which. Something on your mind? He. I heard shouting, Davidoff. Are you alright? Um. Yeah, we're, we're, we're big and tough, although, 
Hmm. I think this one. It's better you don't ask questions, Karen. You've instructed and inspired me throughout my childhood. Your heart would break to see what has just transpired here. It's not this place, child. It's you they're after. Oh, right. Ooh. Garion is waiting on the steps to the central library and wants you to go to him as soon as you're bought what you need at the inn. Oh, Davidoff, I've been your tutor for m so many years, and only in this moment have I come to doubt that my teachings have been enough. Go to Garion, child. It's safe for you here no longer. Oh, dear. Why are they after me? I haven't done anything. I only beat people up with a few twigs and sticks when I was a bit younger. I've made mortal enemies by beating people up with Hello, twigs. Child. Shall we continue your lessons? If you have a mage, cleric, or druid in your party, your character must memorize spells using the rest button on the mage book or preschool pages. Right click and then select the book or scroll icon that appears on the left. Okay, well, we don't have a mage, cleric, or druid, so I'll have to try and remember that. Our rules are very strict. Who's he? Soon be gone, will you? Aye, Garion asked me to teach you a wit about the final arts of mass combat before you leave. Can I pique your interest with it, Davidoff? Uh, Yeah, I mean, someone's trying to bloody kill me, so um, let's get on with it. Good then, child. It's one thing to maintain control of yourself in the heat of battle. But it is quite another to maintain one, one authority or a group. I've asked Ober the Illusionist to run through a few simulations for you down in the storage cellars. Just follow me this way and I'll unlock the door for you. Okie doke. Let's be following him. Our rules are very there you be, Davidoff. If you haven't trained with Ober yet, then the door's wide open. All you need to do is march in. If you've already done your training, then you should go and see Garion. Your father is anxious to see you. Um, there's a chest here. Let me in it. Let me in. Okay. Um, is it, is it, on it these we're meant to be talking to? Priest of Ogma, so are you sick? You look rather healthy to me. Do you need any potions? Yes. All right, then take this potion. <laughs> okay, I, I will. Thanks very much. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Um, no time to chat. I've okay, you get on with cleaning then. And that looks like gold. I'll have that. Um, anything else? I'm on it. Okay, so where's this... Where's this door that they're on about? Wisdom is only Aha. possessed by the learned. Davidoff, the gate warden, asked me to prepare a little going away party for you. A bit of mass combat practice in order, I believe. I'll make it real simple for you. Candorus, Mordain, Arcanist, Dedder and Osprey are all going to join your party. You'll have complete control over them, same as you will with anyone else who might join you in your coming travels. Okay. Once they've all joined your party, I'm going to summon in several illusions of common monsters you might encounter outside the safety of this keep. These illusions will attack the party. It will be up to you to issue the necessary orders to dispose of them. Remember, these creatures are illusions. They won't be able to hurt you. Try your best to kill them, however, because in the real world, pain, harm, and even death are far more real. I've already bloody died, so... um. Some of your comrades will have magic items such as potions and wands. You'll have to equip these in the quick slots of the characters who have them. Some of them also have spells. You can cast these during the battle. Remember, even rogues and warriors can benefit from a good understanding of these more arcane forms of combat. Every so often I'll ask you if you've had enough. If you have, I shall teleport you back outside. If you wish to continue practicing, however, I will create more illusions. Are you ready? Yes, let's do this. Um right. I need a twig or some strong dwarven hail. Okay. So he's he's a I need a twig or some strong dwarven hail. Okay, dokey. She's got something, who's this? 
I've got darts. What good are they? What's this fella? Has anybody got any spells? Aha! Um, armor of Faith. Significant protection against melee and magical attacks. Oh, I think we'll. I think we'll. Oh, she's only got these memorized. Magical stone. By using this spell, the priest can create a small magic pebble, <laughs> which then flies out and hits a target. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Well, you've you've got something. This dude. What's he got? Protection from evil. All attacks made by evil against the protected receive a minus two to each attack. Uh, yeah, that could be good. Detect evil. Well, I think we already know that. Um, and what's this? Bless. Oh, we definitely need to do that. So we've got bless and <coughs> magic stone. And that guy doesn't have anything. Right. Okay. Hello there. You. Where are your spells? Cure light wounds done. It's not what I want. Ah, there we go. And we want to use that. Uh, let's do it on myself. You. Oh. Don't know what that is. Let's do magic pebble on that fella. Um, and then everybody, everybody else. Let's just start attacking. Attacking these. Right. What's this then? Okay, let's see how we let's see how we get on. Hey, yeah. Um, you attack him. Don't have any spells. Hey, yeah. Let's see. Can you get round the back, and then we'll try a backstab, maybe? What sh what's Hello what's there. he up to? Oh, he's trying to cast his spell. She's throwing darts. She's in the mix. Where's you rang? Where's Davidoff? You go fight him. Hey, uh. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Hey, uh. Is anybody oh, actually attacking any of these? No. <laughs> well, that. That would explain it. Hey, uh. Yes, friend. You can do command. Wisdom is only possessed by Okay, the so I was right clicking then. And obviously they're just standing there not doing anything, so you must must have to left click, sure. Have you had enough yet? If you're ready to go, I'll teleport you back outside. Um, I think I'm done right now. Ask me if I want to fight more a little later. Um... Wisdom is only possessed by the learned. Oh, right, okay. Um, I think I've had enough. Oh, right. I was hoping we could come back in, you know, maybe after we'd run around if we wanted a bit more practice, but obviously not. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. Um, never mind, never mind. Um, Okay, well that brings um, this episode to a close. So we've not we've not actually got very far at the moment. Um, we've made it another what quarter of the way around the yard, but um, 
We're getting into the swing of things, we're getting into the swing of things. So we've already been killed once by some dude trying to murder us. Apparently just because it was us. Um, which isn't, it doesn't bode me with um, much hope. People are just trying to kill us for no reason. How so rude and mean. Um, and we've had a little bit of group combat there and we've learned all about druids and clerics and not that it means anything to us. We're just a young lad who wants to be a warrior and we've got, you know, a shield. We're, we're, st prob we're still fascinated with our shield. Um, a real shield! Not made out of twigs. Um, so we'll have to see next time as we wander around the castle whether anyone's going to try and kill us again and where are we up to. So, um, Stevie T, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, thanks to anybody else for watching. See you later.